AWS is it. Okay. So to give you a first hand uh, glimpse into how does this look like. So we've gone ahead and we've navigated inside the Azure portal to the Microsoft Defender for Cloud dashboard. In order to connect AWS accounts, which is the first demo that we want to show you is we're going to go to environment settings here as part of that environment, you can uh, see both the ability to connect AWS as well as GCP. So let's start with AWS. Now, what's, what you can see on the screen here is a simplified onboarding experience. Essentially, it's a click through wizard of four steps. First step is naming the connector resource. So let's give it the name. Then selecting whether we would like to onboard a single account or a management account. Now, for those of you already working with AWS, it shouldn't be a surprise if you select management account, then obviously the accounts below it, its hierarchy are going to be reflected here. However, for the purposes of our demo today, I'm just going to go ahead with a single account. Then we need to select the subscription as well as the resource group in which this connector as a resource will reside in Azure. So I'll go ahead and uh, do that. Uh, location, I'm going to leave the default uh, region. However, we do also want to expand to give you a glimpse into the diversity of different uh, regions that are supported here. What we also want to do is with regards to AWS account ID. So now we, depending on if you select a single or management account, we need to actually enter the ID here. So I'm going to switch to a different tab where I already have the AWS account, which I'm going to be using. So I'm going to select that ID, copy it across, which is this one here. And paste it here. Now once we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and select uh, next. Here we can select the capabilities which we would like to enable. The CSPM part is completely agentless, providing uh, security best practices in form of recommendation for AWS workloads. So this is enabled by, on by default, as well as uh, advanced CWP capabilities and native support for EC2 and uh, EKS, so servers and containers. While CSPM is completely agentless, um, native support for servers and containers does leverage Azure Arc beneath the cover. So I want to make sure you were aware of that one as well. Now, depending on what you select here, you can obviously go further into the configuration options. I'm going to leave everything as it is uh, as on, and then I'm going to click next. Now, depending on what we selected in step number one and step number two, we're going to have here a cloud formation template, which we can download. So once I've cl uh, clicked that, and selected it. In addition to downloading the CloudFormation template, we also can see that in the meantime, something has started to be generated here. And that's the secret for a service principle, which we are going to need. So I'm going to go ahead and as a best practice and as a tip, I'm already going to click to copy uh, this across. Now, what do we need to do here on the AWS side? You can already leverage here the guidance, but let's go ahead into AWS and we'll show you firsthand what you need to do. So if I switch to a different tab where I'm inside of the AWS console, so you can inside of the search bar, you can input create stack and select CloudFormation. Once you've selected CloudFormation, on the right hand side, you should see this option which says create stack. So let's go ahead and select that one. Uh, there are a couple of different options here uh, because we already have the script ready to go and the temp, uh, cloud formation template ready to go, apologies. So we uh, are gonna leave template is ready. Then we are gonna select upload the template file and we are gonna be choosing the cloud formation template which we downloaded briefly ago. So once this is done, we'll just click next. Now we need to name the stack. So let's say AWS. And we're going to have the different parameters here of what's necessary to be created as part of the stack. As you can see here, we do actually need to uh, input the ARC auto provisioning service principle secret. And that's the secret which was generated when we downloaded the script and which I, uh, as a best practice tip, suggested to you to already have copied so you can paste it across here. Now we can obviously um, 
You can obviously also double check these. I'm just going to go ahead and click next. Uh, we can also then select different options such as tags, permissions. What do we want to do in case of failure? I'll just leave everything as it is and click next. Now, the last step here is essentially to go ahead and create the stack. Once we do that, the stack is already going to be um, the process is going to create a start to create the stack. We just need to also then select these options here. Apologies, really quickly do that. And the stack creation has begun. Now, this might take a couple of minutes. So in the spirit of progressing, I'll just go ahead and show you what you need to do once the stack has been created. You can obviously refresh it here. And once everything has been created, you can go here to uh, the wizard and then you can select review and generate. So only after the stack has been successfully created on the AWS side, uh, you go back to the Microsoft Defender for Cloud um, experience here, and only after everything has been successfully created in AWS, you go and click review and uh, generate and create here. Now, in my case, I'm not going to do that, but I will show you once you've selected generate here, this is how it's going to look like. So you are already going to then see after a while the AWS account connected to Microsoft Defender for Cloud. In our case, we use the single account. If this was a, a management account, which you selected in step number one, then you would have the management account and the um, single accounts in its hierarchy below it. Now, with that being said, we also want to give you a glimpse into how does this look like if you would appreciate connecting GCP projects or organizations to Defender for Cloud.